Dr. Ross, uh, could you tell us a little bit about your clinic here? Yes, uh, this is a veterinary referral clinic. So we specialized on uh, treating dogs with, uh, with cancer and cats with cancer. Uh, we do so by the traditional surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, but also we, well, we try to use some more uh, uh, less toxic uh, treatment options like photodynamic therapy. And uh, the photodynamic therapy is used I together with the conventional treatments uh, for, for specific patients, or is it used as an alternative? Um, at this moment, it's uh, used as a, as a single treatment. And, well, it's not like a, an alternative. It's more like when we have a tumor that we cannot take out by surgery and that doesn't respond to chemotherapy, we have another treatment option. Mm -hmm. Or maybe in some uh, situations, it's a more uh, uh, convenient treatment method for, for the animal. Mm -hmm. And so you have the cats with uh, uh, planum nasale tumors and you can operate on them. Uh, you can do radiotherapy, but when it's very superficial, you also can use uh, photodynamic therapy. Here we have the bremerchlorin, and as you can see, it's well, it's very dark greenish. It almost looks like black. Mm -hmm. And this we can give then intravenously. Mm -hmm. So we just slowly put it in, mm -hmm. and then it disperses about all around the body. Mm -hmm. And in the next 24 hours, she will, well, she will clear it from the rest of the body, and the bremerchlorin will stay in the tumor. So that tomorrow we can enlight the tumor area. It's all in there, so we just close it and we send her home for 24 hours and we see her back tomorrow. The special thing about the bremerchlorin is that it's quite specific for the tumor. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when we uh, put it into the body, uh, we, we have other photodynamic uh, substances and they just go all the way through your body and stay there. So those patients are very light sensitive to after treatment. Mm -hmm. And with the bremerchlorin, we see the bremerchlorin goes into the tumor, it's cleared from the rest of the body. So that's why we wait 24 hours because then it's only uh, available in the tumor. Mm -hmm. There, when we then enlighten the, that area, it will uh, generate some free uh, oxygen radicals, mm -hmm. and that will destroy the cellular membrane and thereby killing the cells. Mm. And we have a very nice example of a dog with, with a nasal tumor, and we saw after four weeks still coming necrotic material out of the nose. So mm. we mm. think it's after four weeks we still have our effects of that. So this is classified as a bladder cancer, yes. and and the location of the tumor was? Uh, in the bladder, just before the opening of the ureter. Ureter. Ureter, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and y again, you said it was uh, how long? Five centimeters in length and two and a half centimeters in depth. Okay. Two and a half centimeters yes, th thick, in uh, thickness. Yeah, in thickness, which is quite large. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see the light catheter. So it's a very thin fiber optic, and when we take it out, all the way here at the end, you see the markings of the metal, and between here and here, there is the light coming out circularly. So this is the treatment area that we have. So it, you, as you can see, it's quite a long distance that we can treat at the same and time. And this is, this is laser light that this passes through light. here. And now you're connecting it to the uh, source f that generates the laser. Yes. yes. Uh, so, uh, this, yeah, this, this first thing is a sedative. So she will fall asleep, well, within one or two minutes. She will fall asleep nice and slowly. There she goes. So. Lifting the dog up on the table. Yeah. We're taking her to the treating room and we see you there. Okay. Yep. Now we're putting the catheter into the urethra. So that's the difficult part of the, of the procedure because the urethra is, of course, not normal because that's where the tumor is, so it's very stiff. So it's quite difficult to get it in. And as you can see, it's of course because it's a female, it's inside, so you cannot see what you're doing. So it's just untouch. Yeah. 
Can I switch up to light? Yeah. yeah. Right. And if you focus on the on the ultrasound image, you see the straight white line, the pretty white line. That's where the catheter is. So now we're going to position it just that the tip of the catheter is still in the tumor. But we want to get I have a hold of here for you, you can maybe you can point it out. So this is all tumor. This, the white line here, that's the catheter. And we pull it one centimeter backwards. One centimeter backwards. All the rest of it is just uh, leave it there for uh, 37 minutes, and well, the light now will activate the bremerchlorin, so free oxygen radicals will be formed, and thereby they destroy the membrane of the tumor cells, and thereby killing the tumor cells. So the light is traveling through this fiber optic into the bladder and yep. into the tumor area. Yes, and if you you can see a faint reddish glow here because this dog has a little bit bigger uh, thicker belly so the light cannot travel all the way through but you can see a little glow here and that's uh, where the catheter is just inside the tumor thank you very much now it's just a 37 minute wait